Hey everyone, welcome to Math Talk. I'm your host, Brian Heisler, and I'm going to continue my series on some practice problems for the GED, this time by looking at some basic algebra problems. If you haven't checked out my videos before on geometry and basic math, make sure to do that. Um, if you have, let's get started on these. So I'm going to jump right into a word problem. It says a running company charges $30 per adult and $15 per child as a race entry fee into one of their events. If the company spent $1,550 to organize the event, how much of a profit will they make with 100 adult participants and 25 child entries? So these are problems where there's really a lot of pieces to it. You want to take it one step at a time and start figuring out what is useful and what's not. Um, and so I'm going to start highlighting that. Obviously, $30 per adult is key, and $15 per child is key as well. The amount of money they've already spent is $1,550. That's important. And then in a different color, let's use how many adults there are, 100, and how many children there are, 25. So in order to make a profit, it's basically how much money did I make. And to figure out how much money I made, I need to figure you know, how much I earned and subtract what I spent, or in this case, the company. And so let's figure out how much was earned first. So there are 100 adult participants at $30 per adult. So 100 times 30 is going to be 3,000. And then there are 25 children who participated. And they each paid $15, which is a total of 375. So now that I know the cost of each of the participants, how much was brought in there, I'm going to go ahead and add those up. I get 33.75. That's how much I brought in. Now let's subtract off how much we spent, which is 15.50. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract that. Let's see, we got five, two. I need to borrow here. 13. That's eight and one. 1825. It's always good to use a calculator if um, you don't want to do the math by hand. Um, you can definitely try that out. Um, but this is how much money was profited. 1825. That's a good profit for a race. Um, so let's look at another example. Solve for x and y. A little bit different of a problem. It's very straightforward. Um, they give you what's called a system of equations and they want you to solve for each variable. And so when I see systems of equations, I know there's a couple ways I can solve it. Um, one of the ways is basically by you know, simplifying the expressions or equations and combining them by adding or subtracting. And so I'm going to go ahead and do that because I know that if I add or subtract equations, I can usually get rid of one of the variables. And so in this case, I have 8x on the top, 8x on the bottom. If I subtract the two, the 8x's are going to go away. And what happens there is it leaves me with just one variable, which means I can solve and then go from there. So 3y minus negative 3y is actually 6y, 3 plus 3. 16 minus negative 32 is 16 plus 32, which is 48. Now I have a one-step equation, which I can solve by dividing. And I get y is equal to 8. All right, so there's one of my variables. Let's put it right down here. Now, in order to solve for the other one, I can take the value I just found and plug it into one of my equations and solve for the other. So let me change colors here. I can take either one of these equations. I'm going to go ahead and take the top one because it has more positive numbers, and I like positive more. So 8x plus 3 times 8 equals 16. All I'm doing is instead of writing 3 times y, I'm plugging in the, var the value I found. And so 8x plus 24 is 16. I need to get 8x by itself, so I'm going to subtract 24 from both sides. 8x is left alone. 24 is gone. 16 minus 24 is negative 8. And then I just divide off my value. Negative 8 divided by positive 8 is negative 1, and now I know my value for x, negative 1. 
So these are problems that you could see on some basic algebra type subjects on the GED test. Um, some of them are more straightforward like this one where you're just solving. Some of them are word problems where you have to kind of pick apart the problem and figure out what pieces are useful and just kind of set up your equations. But a lot of algebra is really involved in equations and variables. Um, so I hope this video helps. Make sure to check out part two and some of the other videos on other sections. Thanks. If you have any other questions or you need assistance and you live in the Palm Beach County area, visit our website at GEDS.com to find a location near you and sign up for classes.